This is Martin D'Souza with InSum Solutions showing off a new feature in Apex 5.1 on how validations and page submissions are done differently than previous versions of Apex. So first, this page is an Apex 5.0 application in running in Apex 5.0. And I've got a simple report and form on the employee table. I'm just going to edit the employees record. And I've made a few changes from the default behavior. Is one I've added a validations on the salary that stipulates that the validation or the salary must be greater than hundred dollars. So here I'm going to enter in thirty-five. So thirty-five is less than hundred, and the validation will fail. Next, I've also added two additional fields to really demonstrate the differences. And the first one is password. And I'm going to enter in one, two, three, and I'm going to upload a simple file here. And when I submit the page. It will fail because the salary must be less or greater than $100 as we expect, but you'll notice that the password and the file disappeared. And that's standard behavior in web applications and it's actually a good thing. But it's a bit of a pain for users. And this also helps highlight that the page reloaded, so if we had re reports they'd have to rerun, etc. Starting in Apex 5.1, this is very different. So I'm going to go over to an Apex 5.1 application and I'm going to do the exact same thing. And this is a very similar application, same rules, everything applies. And here I'm just going to enter in 35 and here one, two, three. I'm going to go into upload a file and I click save. And you'll notice something very different this time. It, it, it The same message gets appear, displayed. But first of all, the page didn't reload. And the second thing is the password and file were actually preserved. And this is because of how Apex 5.1 submits a page by default. And, and it actually makes an Ajax request rather than actually, quote unquote, submitting and reloading the page for validations. And I'm going to highlight that by first going to the Apex 5.1 page. And I'm going to just reapply the same changes. And you're going to know it actually notice it, it actually resubmitted the page it and it reloaded all the web page assets in the Apex 5.1 app. Now, if I do the exact same thing, now I've disabled the, the file upload because it, it will change how the results actually get displays. But if I hit save, you're going to notice that only one post request was done. And this was actually an Ajax call. So the page wasn't reloaded. And if we look at the post data, all the page contents are actually it's just one big JSON object that gets sent. And the first thing it does is it goes, runs the validations, like an, and it will return the errors if there are any. And here, this is the actual error messages that were returned, and it's just sent through a JSON object. This makes it a lot quicker for the end user because they don't actually have to reload the page. And if they had any things like passwords or file browse, they don't need to get reloaded. Now, if you want to change the, this behavior, you can actually go and edit the page. And then in the filter properties here, make sure advance is checked. And you can just type in submit. And here the reload on submit, again, by default in Apex 5.1, it will say only for success. But if you're, up, if you're upgrading an existing application from 5.0 to 5.1, this is something you might want to change. You can always go to always, and this is the old behavior. So you probably want it to only for success. That's it for now. Check out our YouTube channel for more videos or go to our website of insum.ca for more information.